I know, I understand you've been touring with your band. You had a great performance. I saw a little bit online at uh, Riot Fest. Talk a little bit about what you've been doing. Um, well, we've been on tour, you know, it's yeah. been the never ending, the never ending love re tours tour. Um, started last year. Uh, you know, it was a great successful tour. We kept adding legs because it was successful and it kind of kept growing in its success and its numbers and whatever. And we just kept kind of getting bigger and better venues and, you know, <clears throat> kind of building as we went and, uh, leading all the way to Riot Fest, which was, you know, insanity. Um, and then even since then, you know, we've had some great success. I mean, it's, I think that kind of helped build the momentum as well. Cause everybody saw these crazy videos of like the, the throngs of screaming fans, which was pretty remarkable, you know, um, mind blowing for all of us, considering I've never had the chance to play in front of that size group with my solo music. Like I've done, uh, shows bigger than that with my band Truth Movement. Uh, we did a, a show on the Santa Cruz Boardwalk one year where I was told they had 60,000 people. I don't really know how many people. I just know that it was spread out forever. But, you know, that was that was a band show and it was a special occasion because it was like the, the 25 year anniversary of Lost Boys and Corey Heyman died and it was a one year anniversary of his death. So there was a lot of reasons that made it special. Uh, but this was unexpected. Because my assumption going into Riot Fest was that it was going to be, you know, you guys get the kitty stage and it's in the middle of the afternoon. And, you know, usually the way those things go is a few hundred people show up and, you know, and it's it's kind of sparse. Uh, and that's what we expected. And uh, literally when we got to the stage that morning, uh, there was literally like 30 people mulling around in front of the stage. We got there at about one o'clock. We went on at two 30. So 90 minutes before our show, there was literally 20, 30 people watching the band that was on before us. And I was like, Oh God, Oh, this is embarrassing. Like we're going to go out there and have to play for like 50 people and it's going to really suck. And so I was like kind of depressed sitting in my, in my bus. And, uh, and about, 30 minutes before the show, my security guy comes in and he says, you know, where do you want me to put your guests? And I said, I don't know, just throw them in front of the stage. I mean, you know, he's like, well, <laughs> that's not going to work. And I'm like, what do you mean that's not going to work? And he's like, well, how am I going to get them to the front of the stage? And he was like, what do you mean? You just walk them to the front of the stage, put them right there. They'll see the show. It'll be great. And he's like, no, 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 you don't understand. There's no way to get anywhere close to the front of the stage because it's already packed. And I'm like, yeah, right. And he's like, no, I'm serious. And I was like, yeah, right. And then like Jameson Newlander from the Lost Boys had flown in to see me from LA to Chicago. And, uh, you know, he comes into the bus. He's like, hey man, good to see you. you know, I don't, it's crazy out there. I don't know. This is, this is like, you know, I mean, I expected it to be big, but I didn't expect it to be this big. And I'm like, oh, stop it. And he's like, no, seriously. And I thought they were all messing with me. And then I actually go to the stage and there's like a hundred people on the stage. And I was like, wow, this is crazy. What's, you know, I figured it must be for like the next band or something. Like all their people were ready for the next, for the next thing. And I'm like, what are all these people doing there? And some lady's like, oh, we're all here to see you. And I'm like, what? And then like, I see like the guys from Insane Clown Posse and like all these different people are up there. And so I'm just like, well, whatever. And I don't really see what's going on in the crowd because it's kind of closed off and I don't want them to see me before the show. So when I actually walked out the first time I was like, Oh my God, that's crazy. I mean, it was like the whole festival yeah. piled in and not just that, but they were still trying to like squeeze into the packed field. I was looking at the gate and I'm seeing all this like stream of people still trying to get in. It was crazy. It was crazy. Yeah. But you know, the biggest part of it, that the most exciting part of it for me was watching them all mosh pit, first of all, which I thought was just a real blast you know watching them all going crazy with their big signs and stuff like that but the big thing was that they all knew the words and like when i would announce what song was coming next they all knew like they you know they were singing along they knew the words they were chanting and they were doing all these coordinated syn synchronized dance things it was wild it was so much fun what a great day yeah yeah and so you're going to keep touring throughout the fall um no so we only have four shows left okay Four shows left. So uh, we're on a little break right now. Uh, we come back and we've only got three West Coast, or actually three California shows, one Vegas show. The Vegas show I know is already sold out. 
uh, so we don't need any help there. <clears throat> um, and then I know that we're having uh, we have a show at the House of Blues Thursday, November sixteenth. So that's the big one. I'm really excited about that one. It's in San Diego, House of Blues. And uh, we're doing a Lost Boys special because it's around Halloween. We're doing two of those. Uh, one of those is going to be, I believe, at the Observatory in Orange County. And then one is going to be in uh, San Diego, House of Blues. So the San Diego, House of Blues, <clears throat> November 16th. Uh, that's going to be a really great one because it's going to be, we're going to show the Lost Boys, the whole film, before the before the concert. We're going to show a movie and a concert. So we're going to have the movie before the concert. We're going to have Jameson Newlander there as a special guest. And he's actually going to come out on stage and perform something. And we're doing VIP meet and greets after the show. So it'll be a chance for people to actually like come watch the movie, hear some of the music from the movie live, and then see the Frog Brothers on stage and then actually get to meet the Frog Brothers and take pictures with the Frog Brothers after the movie. So it's kind of exciting for Lost Boys fans. And um, and then we're also doing the similar thing, I think, the following weekend at DNA Lounge. Uh, I think, and I'm not sure about that, that's in San Francisco. Then we go to... Uh, the observatory and i know for sure we're doing it at the observatory we might be doing it all three i have to kind of check i'm not sure yet so i know for sure it's in san diego at the house of blues and i and i'm pretty sure at the observatory uh in orange county and then i'm not sure if jameson's on the dna one or not and that one is in san francisco and then the final show will be vegas and that's the one that's already sold out. So there's three shows basically left that people can buy tickets to. <clears throat> there are VIP, <clears throat> sorry, my voice is a little rough from the tour, uh, but there are VIP passes available uh, still for all four shows. So you can only get tickets for the three, but you can get VIP passes for all four. And then we're working on trying to get uh, a tour together internationally for next year. That's the plan. Unfortunately, we've been having problems with our agents seeming to be able to book that stuff, which is really frustrating for me because we've done like, I mean, I've literally done like 15 tours of the U S and I am sick of it. <laughs> no, I'm not sick of it. I, I love touring, but I, I feel like my fans all over the world really need to see me and need to see this show before, you know, let's face it. I'm not getting any younger. And, you know, before I get too old to be able to do all of this, you know, dancing and all that, you know, for two hours. I mean, it's it's not an easy job. It's definitely a young man's job. And although I still look like a young man, uh, <laughs> there's certain uh, certain markers out there which state that I'm not. Uh, so, you know, and my body does actually feel it. And I am feeling a lot more uh, resistance. Um, so uh, what, what other projects other than the the tour do you have coming up? Um, that's kind of it. I mean, to be honest, I've got about six different, you know, cameos, I guess you would say in little, little parts or whatever in movies that are coming out, uh, along the way. I have one very exciting thing, which is a new toy that I'm releasing in time for Christmas. And that's a Funko pop. Uh, so, uh, I was very honored that they did a Funko pop of my Ascension millennium video. Uh, so it's like a rock star Corey. Um, which is really cool. It's quite an honor because, you know, they've got pops of like my movies, like Lost Boys character. They've got the mouth character. They've got the Donatello character. You know, they got all the different pops from my films, but there's none of actually like Corey. So it was quite an honor that they actually made one of Corey. Um, me <laughs> talking in third person. Um, but yeah, I do have a very big uh, announcement that's going to be made next year about a, a little TV appearance that I made, which is on yeah. a very popular television show, but I can't talk about it. I'm under an NDA, so I can't say which one. I can't say what it is. All I can say is there'll be a big surprise for next year. Uh, we're planning some very big things for next year, but unfortunately it's not nothing that I can talk about. But the main goal, the main focus really is to get national tour going. That's my, uh, my wish, that's my dream, and I'm making it true. Thanks for watching the You Interview channel. With over 3,000 original celebrity videos, we have one of the largest collections of celebrity interviews anywhere. So remember to like and comment on our videos and subscribe to the channel. If you want to get more involved, you can become a member of the channel. Membership has its perks. You can see exclusive celebrity videos and get the opportunity to ask our celebrity guests questions. We can't wait to hear from you.